we're the writers for Homewrecker. Um, our music was written by Yi Chang Wu. Our lyrics were written by Michael Samuels. Our director was Lexi Overwetter, and our musical director is Asher Denver. about Amanda, who is a professional other woman hired by suspicious girlfriends, fiancés, and wives to seduce their significant others as a test of loyalty until a phone call with her sister changes her life. Enjoy. Homewrecker, written by Elizabeth Lee and Ben Sack. Music by Yi Chang Wu and lyrics by Michael Samuels. Fade in, exterior, Manhattan bar night. Amanda Cole, 30 and dangerously beautiful, struts out of the bar with the confidence of Cleopatra. Her look is sexy secretary, a tight pencil skirt, and low cut blouse. On her arm is Larry Walters, early 40s, a hot shot lawyer, who probably hands out business cards at parties. <laughs> Where are we going now, big boy? <laughs> There's a great view from my office. Interior, <laughs> private office. Larry and Amanda stumble in. Wow, this is huge. I get that a lot. Larry <laughs> Amanda wipes off his desk. Where's the view? You're the view. He pushes her onto the desk and kisses her neck. <laughs> Your wife isn't going to find out, is she? She never does. Amanda sits up, reaches into her cleavage, and produces a small black tape recorder. Sorry, could you repeat that? <laughs> Amanda's office day. Amanda, dressed in a sleek navy power suit, addresses the client who sits before her. This is a very brave decision you're making. But before we get started, let me tell you how this works. Amanda hands her client the contract. First, you sign this. Second, I introduce myself to your boyfriend, husband, lover, fiance, friends with benefits, whoever it is that you're testing. Third, I provide you with concrete evidence of their intentions of infidelity. He were to cheat, which I know he's not going to. But what do you actually mean? You obviously have some trust issues, but you're going to have to trust me. And trust me, I can tell when a woman needs my help. They're fantasies, so cookie cut. It's really quite alarming. Each one seems to think she's destined for Prince Charming. But I know better. I know men. I know the way they pose and then show their true colors each in a turn.
Amanda seduces the men. One, the gym rep bench presses Amanda in her underwear. Two, the doctor enters the exam room to see Amanda with her gown open in the front, sucking on a thermometer. Three, the artist paints a portrait of Amanda, nude. Interior, Amanda's office night. Amanda opens the file cabinet and files a photograph of, photograph of her kissing the artist in a folder labeled Client 327. From time to time, I start to think perhaps I'm a tumorous. Dainty? Dainty. Have you ever seen me eat a burrito? No, something. <laughs> you know, 
Magical? Everyone stares at Nora, normally as useless as algebra after high school. Magical! <laughs> Black Snow White, but with taller man. So which of these are my magic flowers? Roses, tulips, or cats? What about petunias? Are we being silly? Setting seems to be in a spotlight. 
Man, I was talking about you with Joni at the nail salon, and she asked me what exactly you did, and I couldn't remember your title exactly. I'm a research analyst. Oh, right, right. <laughs> you know, I don't get this computer stuff. So how are things going with the analyzing? Yeah, I hope you're staying on top of things. <laughs> you were telling you, me you've been really tied up lately? <laughs> well, how's everything coming? <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interrupting anything. Standing at the door is Jamie, 30, boyishly handsome and good-natured, with a face <laughs> and a dash of mischief. Jamie, I didn't hear you come in. Sorry, I'm late. He goes to hug her. She sticks out her hand for shaking. The resulting greeting is an awkward hybrid of the two. Pleasure. Everyone takes their seat. The interrogation begins. So, Jamie, where are you from? Los Angeles, via San Francisco. And how long did you live in California? Most of my life, but I traveled a lot in my 20s. I don't like to stay in one place. So, this is a big move for you, deciding to settle? Well, no. I mean, I like to travel, but Evelyn is worth making a sacrifice for. Oh, so, it's a sacrifice to be with my sister. <laughs> Evelyn kicks Amanda hard under the table. <laughs> Amanda has such a funny sense of humor. <laughs> Amanda, Jamie moved out here to take care of his aunt and little cousin when she broke her hip. Did you get a cut of the will? She's not worth much, but her life insurance is promising. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to find her. <laughs> they met when Jamie's little cousin took him to school for career day. Isn't that right out of a movie? What did you say to me, Jamie? That she looked like an angel? Mom! I said, I said she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. No! Yes. She's always been such a beautiful thing. The timer goes off. Amanda and I will go get it. Amanda reluctantly, reluctantly stands and follows Evelyn. Interior, whole house, kitchen, night. What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? Getting engaged to strange men you barely know. I'm just trying to have a nice, cordial dinner and introduce you to the man that I love. I'm sorry. I know you're trying to protect me, but I'm a grown-up, okay? I can protect myself. All I need you to do is just be nice for once. Nice? isn't really in my vocabulary. Do you want me to make up some flashcards? <laughs> Please? For me? Okay, Ev. I'll play nice. Interior, hallway day. Amanda and Abby stand in front of number 10. Amanda carries a garment bag. Why are we doing this? When you plan a wedding in two weeks, you don't have time to deliver your fiancé's tux yourself. She knocks. No answer. Abby tries the knock. It's open. Hello? Evelyn said he might be out. I guess we ought to do some snooping. You know, while we're here. You're the worst babysitter ever. I know. <laughs> Above Jamie's desk are a myriad of trophies and plaques. National Restaurant Award, Zagat Guide, LA Times, Best of. Why would a hotshot like this decide to settle down in Brook Park? Because he loves her sister. Besides that, Abby is thumbing through his record collection. She holds up a Slayer vinyl. And he's a metalhead. Ooh, what could this mean? <laughs> Amanda disregards her. She opens Jamie's address book. Sylvia, Sarah, Cheyenne, Julia. He must have a hundred women's names with LA area codes. First names only. You think he fooled around? A big time chef in LA? I'm sure he did. More importantly, who still uses an address book? <laughs> I don't trust this guy. The door creaks open. Oh, sorry. Am I interrupting? We were just dropping off your tux. The door was unlocked. I know. Evie told me to leave it open for you. Listen, I want to apologize for the other night. I'm just really protective of my sister. But you seem like a nice guy, and I think I owe it to Evelyn to get to know you. That's quite a turnaround. Let me take you out for drinks tonight. Okay, I can do that. Great. I'll pick you up at nine. Exterior, apartment building day. Amanda steps onto the street and Abby grabs her arm. You're not going to make him do anything, are you? I can't make anyone do anything. He's a big boy. He can make his own decisions. Don't you think you're crossing a line? She's your little sister. Exactly. And she deserves a man who can go out for drinks with her big sister without causing a panic. Yeah, right. I'm going to go out with him, get a bit drunk and flirty, and see if he makes a pass at me. That's it. All right. Fine. But if Marie finds out about this, I had nothing to do with it. 
She's the only reason I'm not malnourished. <laughs> Interior, hallway night. Jamie opens the door to reveal Amanda wearing a little black dress. Wow, nine on the nose. You don't mess around, do you? Depends who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you didn't have to drag yourself over here. We could have just met at the bar. I thought I'd take you for a little tour of the town first. You know, I've lived here almost a year now. Well, you've never seen it from my point of view. <laughs> Exterior, playground night. Ever been here before? You're asking if I like to creep around playgrounds? <laughs> <laughs> that? Amanda points to a swing. Is where Evelyn had her first kiss. She was seven. A boy came and gave her a dandelion and then asked for a kiss. That's sweet. Yeah, it was. Until he did the exact same thing to the girl on the slide, and the bench, and the merry-go-round. Bastard. <laughs> Amanda points to a tree. That is where Evelyn cried until I came to get her. She points to a branch. That was my weapon of choice. Are you threatening to beat me with a stick? Jesus, Amanda, you need to lighten up. Are you always this serious? Come on, let's go get this. Let's go get those drinks. Interior, bar night. Jamie and Amanda sit at a table with an empty pitcher of beer having a good time. And then they found me just standing there on the corner of 6th and 50th, no shirt, no shoes, and to this day, no idea what happened that night. <laughs> and you never found the shoes? Real Italian loafers. I'll never get over it. So, where are you taking Evelyn for the honeymoon? We haven't quite figured it out yet. Evelyn wants to go to Paris, but honestly, I've traveled to Europe a bunch of times. My dream is to go to Argentina. Madonna fan? I've just always had a lust for the tango. <laughs> I think the most romantic of dances. <laughs> Evelyn can't dance. And you can. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I'm an analyst. Very exciting. So what do you want to be doing? In your wildest dreams, what are you doing with your life? Breaking hearts. Stop trying to be so mysterious. I see right through it. I'd be impressed. You're afraid to let anyone know you, because then you'd be vulnerable. You crush everyone's dandelions before you even know if their weeds or not. That would be profound if it made any sense at all. How many drinks have you had? Shut up, Thank you. 
only kiss that's worth my accolade. <laughs> yes, I'd spend my breath to serenade as else. I hold her when I hold her in my arms. Other dancers, cut in. Jamie and Amanda are with us. Address. She struts out of the apartment and lets the door slam. <laughs> 